everybody, I'm Dustin. Welcome back to Foothills Adventures. Uh, we have our old little little trailer here, and uh, we use it to haul stuff, obviously, because that's what you do with a trailer. And I put new tires on it. Got a good deal on that uh, Jungle website, the Amazon, a two-pack for like $130, $40, something like that. Whatever. What I did realize is that uh, probably haven't greased the bearings, because they're hard to grease. You got to... You got to take the cap off, take the wheel and tire off, and you got to take the whole hub out. So uh, I did a little bit of the Googling, and I found this. There's a couple different types, but this is Napa's version of it. Uh, part number is 745-3046. Might not, you might be able to see that there, but inside, there's, uh, there's some little Zerk fittings. Yeah, cool. So, I'm going to bring y'all in here. And uh, I, well, let's just see if they work. I don't know. I've never owned any. Let's find out. So I'm already tell you guys that uh, I'm gonna get something precise to take this off. Well, by precise, I just mean a hammer. I'm gonna whack her a few times over here, a few times down there. I know there's people cringing everywhere right now. Look, if there's if there's a better way, like just you know, tell me. I don't know. Will it work like this? <laughs> hey, ooh. Oh, that's cause somebody just put grease in the bottom of the cap. Well, I guess first things first. Let's open up these. Oh, there's instructions. What's in the instructions? Don't whack it with a hammer. That's probably smart. Oh, I, that's, that's too many words. I can't read that. Okay. Uh, it comes with a little seal on the back. Looks like it'd fit pretty good in there. I'm guessing. Maybe. But I do have a precision instrument to install this. That didn't work. I'll be right back. All right, so I found an old dirty wood block. Probably got germs in it. Make sure I do not get some of the dirt that I just dropped this down on. See if we can kind of get her stuck in there. And maybe we can put this here and You do not want to go on there, do you? Try it again. I bet you if I hammer this in, I ain't never gonna get it out. I was trying to go in there all cockeyed. Nope. Huh. Now listen, you sucker. I know you'll fit in there. Why are you fighting with me on this? Hmm? Hey, look, it's in there. All right, it's time to grease it now. All right, let's see. I don't know how much this is going to take. I 
I guess I'll just go till I feel a little bit of resistance. My God, that's probably good, right? Should have stopped. Well, is it coming out anywhere? Let me see back there. Nope, it ain't coming out yet. Eh. What's a few more? Right. That's gotta be good. All right, to the other side. This one is the same as the other one, so where's my precision instruments? My precision tools. Uh, let's see. works then we take our cap with the seal try not to drop it in the dirt see if this one will hold a little better first go around it don't want to you know what? Inside of this thing. Probably hadn't been. Not that that's going to make a difference. Right? What did I do? Oh, there it is. Listen here, sucker. That did not work as planned. Okay. I see what kind of game you're playing here. You want the full, full Monty, huh? Now, what about now? What are you going to do? A little persuasion. That's what I'm talking about. I guess same on this side. About 37 pumps worth. Should be fine, right? Ooh. Well, that's 37. There we go. 40. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, there's ants everywhere. You know, clean her up a little bit. I'm sure this thing... Anyway, like I said, them things haven't been greased in a long time. Whew. Man, I'm sweating something awful off here. 
so hot. <sighs> Might get in the pool. Anyway, oh man, I got grease on me. Don't tell Melinda. She'll be mad at me. Anyway, there you go. That's how you do that. Precision instrument. A hammer. This thing. Oh God. What's it called? Wheel bearing protectors. It's not real. It's got a grease cap in it. 745-3046. Fits approximately two inches in diameter. I think it's like 1.98 or something. This is why the tight fit. Time will tell um, when this does travel. If I start to hear any squeaks, which I hope I don't, then I'll keep the grease gun with me. Just chuck a little in there. Way better than replacing an entire wheel bearing when you're heading down the road. Pop a couple squirts in there. Anyway, that was today's short video, guys. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.